And we have a new report tonight from the Dossier Center. It's an investigative group that tracks criminal activity associated with the Kremlin. It says that since the start of the invasion, Vladimir Putin has, for the most part, stopped using his private airplane. You see it there, right? He used to do it. You know, the whole head of state walked down the stairs. No, now this is his preferred mode of transportation. According to the Dossier Group, which is run by Mikhail Khodorkovsky, an opposition leader, Putin is traveling mostly in this armored train, equipped with a special communication system. Why the train? Well, earlier, I spoke to Ilya Rostezvensky, a reporter with the Dossier Center, and he told me that the Russian president is afraid. The psychological reason of using this train is that he's scared. He is scared that he can be tracked, that his plane can be tracked, and uh, that his plane can be shut down by NATO air forces or, or by the air forces of Ukraine or by some missile, some kind of a missile that hit Crimean bridge or anything like this can happen. So he's scared and he believes that it is a more secure way to travel that nobody will know where he is going. Nobody will understand that he's inside the stream. No one will know because Rodosvensky says it looks like a normal passenger train. That gray with the red stripe, that's the Russian passenger train. Make no mistake though, this particular train is not like the others. There are like three locomotives. Putin's train has three of them because it's really heavy. Uh, it's armored, and so it's heavy, and it needs more locomotives. This train, it has some kind of a special equipment for special communications. He wants to communicate securely. He needs some special lines to, to communicate with his prime minister and other officials and to be sure that he is not listened by some foreign intelligence. And you can see part of this, uh, part of this equipment on the roof of, uh, of the cars. You can see part of it from the roof, and it's heavy. It's armored, so it takes three locomotives to transport it, not just one. General Hurtling, in this context, uh, because uh, as Steve mentions uh, Khodorkovsky, it is his group, the dossier group, that has done all this uh, this research, this painstaking research on the the train, Putin's train. So the reporter there, Ilya, explained why Putin is using this train. Here he is again. He's scared. He is scared that he can be tracked, that his plane can be tracked, and uh, that his plane can be shut down by NATO air forces or, or by the air forces of Ukraine or by some missile, some kind of a missile that hit Crimean bridge or anything like this can happen. So he's scared and he believes that it is a more secure way to travel that nobody will know where he is going. Nobody will understand that he's inside the train and nobody will even try to do something with this train. General, on a certain level, it's kind of a stunning thing to say, right? Train goes 50 to 70 miles an hour. Train has to stick to tracks. Everyone can see when train is moving. Uh, it is a pretty stunning thing to say that this is, you know, that Putin is so worried about being his plane being shot down that he's resorted to train, uh, something done in the era of Stalin or by the likes of Kim Jong-un. Yeah, Aaron, what I'd say is President Zelensky, by comparison, is getting around the battlefield pretty well. He's been to all the front lines. He's appeared on camera with soldiers on the front lines in the trenches. He's been uh, there multiple times in all of the situation. If Putin has this great army that Mr. Lukashenko just talked about, is he really that concerned that he's got to move from Moscow to St. Petersburg to Minsk on an armored train? that I would suggest, and, and maybe Steve can talk more about this, that can be readily picked up by signals, communications, and aerial observations. He is afraid, as a reporter said from the dossier, that uh, he's going to be killed. And this is what autocrats do when they're in really bad times and don't trust their people and don't trust their armies. I mean, Steve, what does this say? Putin's use of this train, which is, you know, like we said, you know where it is and when it's going there. What does that say about his mind? Yeah, if this reporting is accurate, and of course we do have to remember it comes from Holarkovsky, who has a bone to pick with Putin, so it benefits him to show him as scared. But if it's true, and of course Stalin did this, so it could be true, and of course the North Koreans do it, so this isn't this isn't unprecedented. Um, but you know, there's pluses and minuses. You know, planes are easy to spot in one sense. There's an electronic signature; they take off and land at, at airports. There's tail spotters. There's all sorts of ways that you can find airplanes. 
uh, you know, there might be certain circumstances under which trains are a little harder to spot. I mean, there's less communication. You can't see them flying through the air if you're a tail spotter. But if they've got that special communications package that they're talking about, then they are emitting something that is noticeable. It's like, wow, this is an interesting train. And by the way, it's pulled by a lot more locomotives and it seems to be different from other trains. So, you know, the, there's pluses and minuses, but I wouldn't say that it's perfectly safe to be traveling on a train, but it does reflect if it's true, what Putin, you know, Putin's mindset is, he's really in a bunker. That's what he's doing. Yeah, well, right. and, and I'd say one more thing, if I could, Aaron, yep. the train has to stay on a track. Uh, it can't deviate from that track. So there's not a whole lot of capability to evade being targeted.